So, you think I like you. <laughs> Let me let you in on a secret. I don't. Hey, yo, what's good, y'all? Uh, this is why I don't wear my glasses because I feel like y'all can't even really look me in my eyes for real. Like, y'all are just looking at the reflection of something, aren't you? Aren't you? Is this just me? Or is this just bothering me? Like, is this just me? Like, if I turn this way, it's fine. I think I'm just gonna talk this way, guys. Hi! I have another video for you guys. And if you guys have not watched my first video explaining the new content that I'm gonna be giving you guys, please go ahead and watch it so this won't take you um, all by surprise. Y'all saw the beginning of the, the, the TikTok telling you, go follow me on TikTok. What does that mean? I don't like the world. I must speak from experience. Literally for me, liking the world was listening to worldly music. Something I'm still, still trying to um, get out of. There are so many songs that I'm like so stuck on like, oh, I just like the melody. Oh, I just like the beat. Oh, I just like the rhythm. But when I really listen to it, it's like, okay, they talk about sex, money, drugs, and all that bull crap that I shouldn't really be listening to. It's gonna be hard for my flesh to separate itself from that. But that is something that I liked in the world. I liked wearing certain clothes that I shouldn't have been wearing. I'm not really dressing modestly enough as a Christian. Um, what else did I struggle with? Being envious, wanting to covet whatever my neighbor has, wanting money, greed, all that. I struggle with all of it. So, for other people, living in the world might be drinking, smoking, cursing, having premarital sex, all the things that the Bible, that God says he hates, okay? I'm gonna read a verse. Proverbs 6, 16 through 19 there are six things the lord hates seven that are an abomination to him hmm. Whew. yo abomination just sounds so old let me read it <laughs> haughty eyes already guilty aligned to oh i'm already dead he already hates it i already do two of the things that he hates um, and hands that shed innocent blood. Thank God I've never killed anybody. <laughs> a heart that devises wicked plans. Yes, yes, haven't we all? Feet that makes haste to run to evil. Yes, we all have done this too. A false witness who breathes out lies. I've, I've definitely probably done this. Yes. we. And one who sows discord among brothers. Those are things that we, we, as Christians eat as humans. We can't control that. We could control it, let me stop. As humans, we can't stop ourselves from, from sinning. It is in the world. This world is full of it. Ever since Eve and Adam ate the fruit and were cast out of the garden, we are in this world of just disgustingness, wickedness, evil, sin. It's everywhere. I thought something just now and that was sinful. I can't help it. It's just in us. All right? But what does what did that, that little thing I, I posted earlier said? You think I like you. As born-again Christians, as people who identify as Christians, as people who have relationships with God, as people who want to be more like Christ, we don't like the things of this world, okay? We don't like it. We're not supposed to like it because the world hates Christ. The world hated Christ. The world rejected Christ. Why would you want to be friends with something that, that hates Christ, that hates God? Even though God loves us, God loves his creation. We are his creation. Don't get this twisted now. God doesn't hate people, all right? God hates the things we do that don't stand with him and stand with his statutes and stand with the things that he represents, which is goodness, love. You know what I'm saying? All of that. 
we can't help but be evil and wicked in our hearts and our flesh because our flesh is just disgusting. We don't we don't like people. We hate people. We want this. We lie about that. We cheat on this. We do wicked things and we can't stop ourselves from doing it. But we can try our hardest to walk like Christ because that's the point of being a representative of Christ, of being a servant of Christ, of wanting to serve God. That's the point. Of being a Christian. Let's see what the Bible says now. First John. Oh my God. I really feel like my glasses are reflecting and I'm trying hard for it not to. Yeah, I'm sorry. First John 2 15 through 17. Do not love the world or the things of this world. Don't do it. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the desires of the flesh and the desires of the eyes and pride and possessions is not from the Father, but is from the world. And the world is passing away along with its desires, but whoever does the will of God abides forever. And that's what we want. <laughs> we want to live with God forever. We want to be next to Christ. We want to abide in Christ. We want to be in heaven. We don't want to be separated from God forever. That's not something you would even want. When people say, oh, hell is gonna be fun. They don't know what they're talking about. We're gonna save that for another video though. These videos are not gonna be long. I'm not gonna be sitting and chatting your ear off. But this is what um, it's gonna be. It's, it means to die to oneself, to pick up your cross, and to follow him on the narrow path, okay? It's hard. It's hard to stop sinning. But that's what we call repentance. We correct ourselves, ask for forgiveness, and walk in the way of Christ. Because we're never gonna stop sinning. But as long as we recognize our error and we ask for forgiveness, we just one step closer to being like Christ. You know what I'm saying? We're not like the world because we don't like what we do at, the, at that point. People who are of the world like like taking drugs and are, are greedy and they love gaining money and materialistic things and you know what I'm saying? Going places where they shouldn't be, doing things that they know they shouldn't be doing. But us, in Christ, we have to die to ourselves, okay? It's hard for everybody. Everybody's walk is different too. So everybody has things that they're doing and things that they're battling with that's harder to either let go of or there's a, you know, there's just a spirit attached to it that's never gonna let you, like, it's gonna, it's probably gonna be hard to fight that spirit off without prayer or without the Holy Spirit, you know what I'm saying? But you have to fight the good fight at the end of the day, okay? So, that is today's message. I'm, I'm done. I'm done trying to hide from the hide my, my faith from the world and not talk about certain things because I'm scared of backlash or scared of the opinions of people. I don't care anymore because at the end of the day, I'm going to heaven when I die or when the Father comes back, whatever comes first. And I don't care. I'm not going to hell for anybody. I'm not going to hell for friends. I'm not going to hell for family. I'm not going to hell for anybody I know. But I'm going to do my part because as Christians, we are called to be fishers of men and share the gospel. That, on that note, I am done, guys. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned for more and peace. God loves you. I'm LJ.